I think I'm on. I'm on. Yep. Got one. We come out here and keep running. Yeah. Oh, that's on. You have one? Yeah. I can't keep them on though. All right, first one, dude. Little. But oh, we're catching them. That's it. That's it. That was one. Yep. Oh, yeah. right there. Oh, there it is. Ah, that was sick, dude. Ooh. <laughs> going on everybody we are out here at a gymnastics camp for a couple of days but this camp sits on a private lake and we're gonna go fish it i actually brought my own fly rod from home i went out and tested it out it does work caught one bass caught like five or six little bluegill and one perch I've got a buddy here, his name's Hunter, and he's got a boat, and we are gonna go out tonight after coaching practice, and we're gonna see if we can get on some fish. So, let's get after it. What's up, buddy? Oh yeah, dude. I was throwing this water on the boat through last week, huh? I caught four. On that guy, huh? Yeah, and he nice. caught two, I think. Okay. okay. I'm gonna keep throwing it and see what it does. You got a dark one, don't you? Yeah. And we'll see what that does. Too. Yeah, I'll try. Uh, I got a dark worm and I got a dark fly, so we'll see. Yeah, it's murky water. That's, I either throw bright colors or I throw dark. Right. Yeah, I figured I was gonna change over to a, a light color, but I was like, man, I, every, I've caught things on this, so I don't know if I should change. But if I don't catch anything, maybe I'll change. And then I brought the, the spinning rod just because I was like, if it's a pain in the ass fish fly fishing with this the line and if I can't get down deep enough you know we'll see Dude, did you really oh, oh yeah. right there came after it no, he didn't. He didn't. <gasps> there it is ah that was sick dude <laughs> that was awesome. first one that was crazy you come at that I was just I mean dude I he smoked or... that thing I was really in those little guys dude that was awesome all right, spinning rod, one. Fly rod. Fly rod, none. I would love to get into it. I had a, one of my ball players to come out here and he brought a... Uh, oh, that's on. That one? Yeah, I can't keep him on though. Come on, come on. He's still on. He's still on. Oh, yeah. Little guy. Oh yeah, there we go. So how do you reel that thing? You just so you so right now I'm just all hand line, and then if you want to, like if it's a big one, I'll do. You just gotta get all that shit in while you fight the fish. While you fight it. And then so like I'll just go like this while you're fighting. That's the hard part, especially with big fish or bass that like to jump because you gotta keep yeah. fighting them. And so now you just do it like a spinning rod once Sweet. you get to the so line. So once you get to that point, yeah. Dang, dude. dude. Hey, we're on board. We got them, dude. I'm yeah. telling you, we were gonna smoke them. We have too much like good vibes to not. We've got, uh, yeah, we always, we always get them. Yes. Oh, dude, we smoked them last year. Oh, shit, sorry, buddy. All right, first one, dude. Little, but we're catching them. What is that, like three casts in? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've casted maybe three. That was sick. Yeah, the flop, dude, yeah, you totally, I'll let you try it, man. You wanna, no, no, we'll no. switch it up, dude. What do you, what do you got on it? What is that? I tied up a woolly bugger, so. It's got a, uh, just a bead up top, a hook, and a bunch of just like stuff that I tied, like uh, material you tie on, got some shiny and it's black stuff. And they just like it. Dude. They just, they just hit it. I did, black, like olive green, are just like my go-tos. And you know, I'll switch it up if it's not working, but shoot, it works a well, lot of- murky water, they, that's yeah. what they say they like. Right. I've always had good uh, luck with like purple worms, dark purple. Right, right, right. And it has like, I do like a little shiny material in there too, just so it has like, you know, some flair to it, you know? What I like about this worm, it's dark. It's yeah. like bright lime green pale. Right. So it's a little bit of both. You get both, yeah, you yeah, can kind of see. Yeah, a little bit of both worms, they can see it. Nice. No, dude, yeah, you'll have to try this, man. I've always said I would, but I just, I don't know, man. Dude, you got to. It's, I'll that tell you one thing. Up. I'll tell you, no, you won't, you won't. I'll tell you one thing that sucks is just the line management is a pain in the ass. So see that I have like a dark line at the end of this. Yeah. 
that that black right there yeah I, that's a, a sink tip so i tied that on because if you look my orangish yellow line it floats right so i tied that top water right? Right. right so i tied this on to let it sink a little bit just so i can fish somewhat shallow maybe like eight to nine feet right um otherwise you're just fishing top water top, stuff yeah. But and that's this, what you do like in them rivers and creeks, right? I do that or oh, Euronymph, or really? I'll do like super thin line and I'll fish like little bugs down by the bottom. Huh. So, I mean, that's what's so cool. Like it's so versatile and there's so many different like techniques and things that you can do. And like this, like right here, this is like a roll cast. You bring it towards you, roll it out and flip it, you know, so you could do that. Or if you're closer, you could do like the overhand cast into right. it. So that's just the hardest part is to kind of, oh, there's a squirrel right over there. Right, like uh, 11 o'clock, it was just right over there. That's why I just, I don't know. And then it's, you saw, dude, it's kind of chaos, extra line and- Yeah, but it's fun. And the, oh, it it's just, fun. it's so fun. That was sick. Come on. Oh. That was cool. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh yeah. Dude, these bass are so freaking fun. <laughs> Fight on a freaking fly rod, dude. There we go, buddy. Calm. Not bad. Finally another one. Took us a bit. It's not terrible. But yeah, these all these little guys is what you gotta get out of here, huh? Yeah. I know, dude. Pretty short. Sure. Got one. Right by that log right there. Little guy. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, you're little, dude. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right, perfect. Just popped off. Easy release. Yeah, I see that. I've got this uh, couple, like three different ponds that are right by this golf course that there was supposed to be like another night hole to it. That's on. Oh, that was one though. Here? Yeah. Or, no, no, I haven't fished it at all. I've just been curious about this fly rod and seeing if they'll eat. You got your answer. They're hitting it. They're hitting it, dude. They do. they it's it. pretty versatile. There we go, baby. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Oh. Nice. Yes, dude. Our nice. cast with the. Uh, <laughs> Heck yeah, the Guggen. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> That's it. No, don't tell me. What's that? He spit it? I mean, that's, I, that's worm. I'm telling you, dude. That's why I brought them. I was like, I had about 20 here. I got I'm gonna more. Use, I'm gonna use this one. I'll just use this one. I, I got more. I think that whole thing was full. So that's what I bought. I literally was like, I'm bringing <laughs> hooks and worms. Coming prepared this time. Yeah, for sure. Here we go. See, first cast back with the fly rod, baby. <laughs> I'm just meant to have a fly rod in the hand. Bluegill. And you're catching a variety of fish too, you know? Yeah, that's the <laughs> thing is like, it's so small. Like these guys can eat it, you know? Yeah, and then even a big bass or small bass. Yep, can... That's the smallest bluegill I've seen. So long. far, yeah. I mean, they're fun if you're not catching anything, but their little mouths are kind of a pain in the ass. Really? That's the mid one. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a pass. No. Yep, you're right. That's what that's what's nibbling at your shit. Oh god, I hate them. They're so pokey. Alrighty. Well GoPro literally just died and uh, we both just hooked up right where there's lightning and thunder going on. <laughs> little sketch, but doubles. That's pretty cool. It's been a little bit since we both got a bass, so catching a lot of the bluegill out here. I think there's a ton of them. Plus they're going for my little fly too, so cheers. Cheers. Send them back. <laughs> nice. All right, we just got it back off the water just in time. Big storm rolling in. We just saw quite a bit of lightning, but man, we hammered them. That was pretty fun. I'd say almost as good as the last time we were out here. I'll show you guys that video, but 25, 30 fish, maybe? I think so. Yes, between both of us. Last time was like almost 20 each. Yeah, right. But this time was probably 20 to 30 with both of us. Still two good days. That's an fish. awesome. <laughs> what? An hour and a half? Two hours? Elite. Yeah, hour and a half. Hour and a half? Pretty epic. Sick. So much fun. All right, guys. We are back in the room. Just unloaded all of my stuff. That was pretty fun. I mean, you cannot argue with catching 20 plus fish between the both of you. I mean, that was sick. And I was kind of, I, I threw the fly rod most of the time. I had one fish on that I lost on the other spinning rod, but just, I'm a fly guy. I went back to my fly rod because I feel more comfortable there and uh, it's just fun for me. So man, that was so much fun though. Just out here at gymnastics camp for work, but getting in fishing when you can and on their own lake, multi-species, just can't be it. Anyway, I leave in the morning, so I'm getting things packed up. It's about 9.30 and uh, gotta get things loaded up for tomorrow because I got a flight. We got a coach in the morning and then I got a flight. So, uh, well, two flights to get home because this is out in Tennessee. So anyway, had a blast. No trout this trip, but some bass, some bluegill, some perch. No perch tonight, which was kind of crazy. Perch I caught. Uh, the last few days i've been testing out the fly rod to make sure that they will eat and it was for sure that they did so anyway hope you guys enjoyed it we will see you in the next one